My name is Tattoo Disney Dad, and today I'm going to be going all across Walt Disney World parks. So thank you for joining me here on YouTube. Let's go have an adventure and see what all the resorts are like in one day. Here is stop number one, the Polynesian Resort. Ultimately, our scavenger hunt said we needed to find a lay, and there it is. One of the bonus tasks for today is to spot how many water slides we can find. Currently here at the Polynesian, I'm gonna say the count is actually two. You do have your main water slide in the main pool, and then you also have the slide on the splash pad. So one of the great advantages of doing this activity is that you are going to spot all kinds of unique stuff around the resorts like this tiki head. For one for the day was the Polynesian. You can see it just over the lake here. We are going to walk our way past the wedding pavilion and head on over to Grand Floridian to try to find our second scavenger hunt item. Inside the Grand Floridian lobby, our scavenger hunt sheet does have a bird cage. I think this is it. In the bonus quest to count slides, Grand Floridian does have one. We are a little too early, so it is not open yet. But then they also have over here to the left, the water slide at the splash pad. That brings our total count up to four. Needed to fuel up for the day, so we have stopped in here at Gasparilla, which is the quick service restaurant at Grand Floridian, and we are grabbing some Mickey waffles to start the day. The kids option did save me a little bit of money. You get two Mickey waffles, sausage, and the potato barrels. Definitely well worth it. Here at Grand Floridian, waiting for the boat dock to open. We are gonna take a boat out onto Seven Seas Lagoon and get a beautiful view of the castle off in the background. We have boarded our boat, and it is time to head out on the water. Let's get closer to the castle. There is the view off in the distance. You got Space Mountain, you got the train station, Magic Kingdom. Definitely an awesome experience for only $45 for 30 minutes. Definitely worth it. It is time to continue the scavenger hunt. Let's head to Magic Kingdom check-in so that later on we can cut through Epcot to get some time gain. First park check-in of the day. Here we are at Magic Kingdom. We are not doing attractions though because we're trying to visit 23 resorts. We need to stay on the move. Next stop, you can see in the distance, that is the geyser going off. That is our Wilderness Lodge scavenger hunt item. We are going to go further into the property and take a look around. Even count of our water slides. This is another splash pad. There are two slides, but we've been counting these splash pad areas as one all day. Here is our Wilderness Lodge slide. That brings our total count up to six. Tour of Wilderness Lodge brings you out into the rustic waterfalls and wooded areas. One of the beautiful resorts. This is one of my favorites for staying around Christmas time. Pathway to success is always changing, so we are going to adjust which resort we go to next based on what bus we can catch from the Contemporary. But for now, let's go check out Bay Lake Tower and Contemporary Resort. And from Magic Kingdom, walking the pathway over here to Contemporary and Bay Lake Tower, we are on checkpoint number four of the scavenger hunt. Let's go see if we can find that five-legged goat. Contemporary does not have a splash pad water slide. It does have a really unique splash pad. And in the background, you can see the water slide that we call Big Blue. So that is a fun one here at Contemporary Resort. Inside the Contemporary, looking for that five-legged goat. Looks like we need to take the elevator to the seventh floor so that we get the best view of it. On that right-hand side, that second goat higher up in the screen, that is your five-legged goat. Definitely put in a little bit of research and take a look at the history of it. Really cool. Definitely a perfect item for the Contemporary Resort scavenger hunt. We are moving on. Let's go figure out what bus we can catch. That will ultimately decide what resort we stop at next. The system was always going to be the downfall of trying to complete this challenge today. Right now, it looks like the bus system here at Contemporary is not updating. So we have no idea what the next bus is. But ultimately, we are either headed to Animal Kingdom or Springs. That is our next stop. I forgot to shoot anything in Disney Springs. We are here at Saskalua Steamboat Company. This is your dock, ultimately getting on the boat to head to Port Orleans, Riverside, and French Quarter. This is Port Orleans, French Quarter. The coolest water slide on all of property. This is named Scales, and he is located at Port Orleans, French Quarter. This is our banjo playing gator. That's our scavenger hunt item for Port Orleans, French Quarter. That was a super quick trip into Port Orleans French Quarter. We spotted our banjo playing gator, saw the pool, counted that water slide on the scavenger hunt. So now we are trying to beat the riverboat down to French Quarter, Riverside, I mean. Made it down to Port Orleans Riverside. Right behind me, you see the classic water wheel. That is our scavenger hunt item for this resort. Here at Riverside Port Orleans Resort, 
they do have a water slide. This one's actually called the mud slide, and this is where I grew up, so I know this slide all too well. And grabbed a drink while we were at Port Orleans Riverside, spotted the water wheel, and now we're headed back down to Disney Springs so we can catch a boat out to Old Key West. Hustling, trying to make the dock. Our boat got in front of us. We can't risk the time loss of missing another one, so we gotta hurry. We found one of our bonus items. We are here at a DVC open house. Let's stop in so we can check that one off the scavenger hunt. Ultimately today has been an adventure. Time is taking a little bit longer than I expected, but we found a little bit of a way to cut some off. This is the Old Key West Lake Buena Vista tea box. We found it just off the edge of Saratoga Springs property. So with that, it is time to head to Saratoga Springs Resort and go look for Philippe the horse inside the lobby. Let's get headed that way. One of the best parts of this activity as we've gone throughout the day has actually just been walking around, seeing the beautiful nature environments that are all around the resorts and property. This is the backsides of the golf course here at Lake Buena Vista, headed over to Saratoga Springs. Here's the community hanging out in the live and we are here at the carriage house, which is the lobby entry point for Saratoga Springs Resort. Ultimately, we need to go inside and find a horse. We look in Philippe the horse. I believe we had spotted him right here behind the counter. So that is scavenger hunt item checked off the list. Here is your slide at Saratoga Springs Resort set amongst the Donald splash pad that currently looks closed with a beautiful waterfall backdrop. That is slide number 10 on the count today, I believe. So we are back at Disney Springs. Ultimately, we need to come back here to catch a bus to another one of the Disney resorts. We are headed out to the All-Star Resorts. Disney Springs is a great place to check in and out of if you're trying to get to those resort tours. Ultimately, you can catch a bus to the different resorts. Uh, and this is a nice central hub where you can grab food and lunch, or in my case, just ignore the live chat and just keep powering through. We are at All Star Sport right now. The nice part about this resort, it is connected with movies and music. So we are going to be able to check off three resorts on the scavenger hunt as quickly as possible. Let's go see if we can find one of Donald's nephews playing baseball. This is our first value resort of the scavenger hunt today. I'm not seeing a water slide though, so that may be something to factor in when you are booking your resorts. This is the football section of All-Star Sports. Definitely not going to find any characters playing baseball here. Let's keep walking and keep searching. Whether it is the aspect of traveling all around property or ultimately just starting to feel like I'm running out of time here at All-Star Sport, I'm starting to feel the challenge. This is a harder one to find. Apparently, we've got to find the tennis section and the boys, the ducks, are playing baseball in between it. So I think we walked the wrong way. Let's turn back and get to a different corner of the baseball area. He is the most difficult scavenger hunt task we have found today. For some reason, the Donald nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie are playing baseball in the middle of the tennis section. Silly us for looking in the baseball section of the resort. There it is, you've got the saxophone behind me. Not nearly as hard as All-Star Sports, but ultimately we did find it. Let's head on over to All-Star Movies. One of the things that's important to take note of as we do this tour all around Walt Disney World properties is even the value resorts are absolutely gorgeous. We've got beautiful water fountains here. You have amazing props and backdrops all throughout the resort. Definitely well worth checking out and a great way to save a little bit of money since you're probably gonna spend a lot of your time inside the park anyways. Giant clapper would imply we have made our way to All-Star Movies. It sounds like I think we're on the hunt for a giant sorcerer's hat. Let's go see if we can find Mickey's most famous accessory. You can see by the theming here of the pool, we are in the right area with the Fantasia brooms in the back, coming up with those giant Fantasia brooms. And there it is, our scavenger hunt, Mickey's sorcerer's apprentice hat. The wrap on the all-star properties as we did do movies, music, and sports. They're connected, so we were able to complete the scavenger hunt by walking across property. Now we are just here waiting for our bus, and actually I see the Animal Kingdom one pulling up now. There it is. That means it's time to go to Animal Kingdom. Ultimately from there, we are headed to either Coronado or Kidani, just depending on the next bus system. That is another bus ride down for the day. We've done boats about four times. We've been on buses at least twice now. We're at our second park. It's Animal Kingdom. Let's go do a quick check in and check right back out heading on to our next resort. Time to check in, but this is park number two for the day. Still got two more to go. 
This is about as far as we're gonna go inside Animal Kingdom for today. So not the four park challenge per se, but we did come into the park, check in, and we are adding it on top of the growing list of resorts, trying to hit all 23 as we go. Out of Animal Kingdom, going to our next spot. We said the bus was gonna be our route, but I think we might have a small magical pickup. Uh, we are trying to use all Disney transportation. Ultimately, we set ourselves back by two hours this morning, so we are gonna take one quick little magical detour and see what kind of ride we can catch. So all morning long, based on the path that I thought we were gonna take, Coronado was something I didn't think we were gonna complete. If I was gonna miss one resort, I thought it would be here. Instead, because Danielle picked us up, we ended up running a boat in the TikTok Live, and they picked coming to Coronado. So at the end of the day, I think we're gonna miss Kadani Village, Animal Kingdom Lodge, but we get to go inside this beautiful resort here, Coronado, let's show you the lobby. Coronado pool we are checking there is definitely a slide over there on the right side edge but we're gonna make sure we put a note in this video here for YouTube the pyramid is not to be climbed so if you are watching this remember to keep your kids down off the pyramids no lifeguard wants to deal with that wrapping up Coronado it's time for another bus ride currently the board says 737 so we are talking about eight minute wait let's head to Hollywood where we can catch the Skyliner and finish our resort tour the Hollywood Studios bus rolling in Time to get after it, keep going, and try to crush through the last round of resorts, the Skyliners and Epcot Loop. Sunset as we enter park number three, Disney Hollywood Studios. Let's check in just so we can check it off as ultimately today is still about the resorts. Park number three for today, Crossroads to the World. That means we are inside Hollywood Studios. We are headed out to the Skyliner to keep the resort tour going though. Let's head to Pop Century and Art of Animation. It's time to hop on the Art of Animation and Pop Century line. This is going to take us out to our farthest point on the Skyliner loop, and then we'll work our way back towards Epcot. As we ride the Skyliner to one of our furthest points on this route, we are headed to Art of Animation, Pop Century, get the beautiful view of the sunset. Here we are at the junction point. This is where your Skyliners end. That way we are headed to Pop. This way we are headed to Art. Let's go find two more scavenger hunt items. The easiest find on the scavenger hunt today, we had to find the giant yo-yo. We've got a green one on the right, a blue one on the left. Super easy, hanging out at Pop Century. We are not gonna go look for a water slide because ultimately we do know that there is not one at the Value Resorts. From animation was one of the easier ones. I spotted it on the scavenger hunt list first thing this morning. It said, find Tomater. I knew right from the beginning we are coming down here towards the Cozy Cone. Let's go find that favorite tow truck and maybe even spot his friend Lightning McQueen. And kind of McQueen, not really certain what's going on. He has been under wraps for quite a while actually. We were here about a month ago and couldn't find McQueen. So let's go find Mater anyways. It is underneath Mater's sign. We've got Toe Mater himself. Really cool that they have this experience here because it is basically like a miniature Cars Land from Disneyland right here at Art of Animation Resort. Got in and out of Art of Animation and Pop Century as quickly as we can, but you can see twilight or dusk has set in over Art of Animation Resort. Different type of beauty than the sunset, but still amazing over there. We are now headed to Caribbean Beach where we're gonna get off the Skyliner, walk to Riviera, finish up those resorts, and then it's the home stretch, the Epcot Loop Resorts. This is where we stand. We just got off the Skyliner, headed to Caribbean Beach Resort, and we've got basically until 10.30 at this point to get back on the Skyliner to finish the loop to Epcot. So let's go ahead and head into Caribbean Beach Resort and find 
whatever we got to look for on our scavenger hunt. Let's follow the signs towards Caribbean K and see if we can spot steel drums. Into the night, we are still going. And if you are looking here at Caribbean Beach Resort, there is a splash pad. So we're gonna count that as slide number one. And then high atop the castle perch over there is actually where you get on the main water slide. So that is slide number two here at Caribbean Beach. Almost missed this one there. It turns out there is actually a third slide here at Caribbean. So you've got the splash pad, the big slide, and a little mini slide coming out of the castle turrets on this side of the pool as well. Just as I suspected, this one is actually hidden in a mural. That gentleman is playing steel drums right in the middle. Let's head on over to Riviera because we have crossed off everything we needed to do here at Caribbean Beach. From Caribbean Beach, the first thing we spot is a splash pad. So that adds another one to our slide count. Let's check the main pool and see if there's one there. Riviera's main slide. This is a design that actually shows up in multiple Disney properties, including Vero Beach. It's a very simple lighthouse-esque design with a spiral slide around it. A lot of fun, not a ton of speed to it. Now we're gonna head into the lobby and see if we can find our scavenger hunt item. They are on the bottom floor of the Riviera Resort. You have these unique posters that are in Italian. Let's see if we can find the one that's about Dory. Ah ha ha, there it is. That matches our scavenger hunt. We're up in the air on the Skyliner. Pretty hard to see, but off in the distance, you are catching fireworks from both Enchantment and Harmonious Magic Kingdom. There are the little flashes. Not great for YouTube, but beautiful in person. So don't be afraid to try to time it out and hop on the Skyliners around nine o'clock and you will get a view from the air. So we've had an incredible day trying to get in and out of all the parks. It was never really the goal. It wasn't a four park challenge. Ultimately, we came in literally 10 minutes too late for Epcot, security is closed down or not. Actively watching people go now. Let's do it. Direction, we did it. Four parks, over 20 resorts by the end of the night. We did it. This is a new one. Just continually raising the bar on what I can do in a single day. It might not seem like it, but this is a moment. Live chat's been with me all day today, YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're not done yet, but this is a moment for me watching these fireworks from my spot here in Epcot. Still got a couple resorts to go after the park closes, but ultimately, challenge complete. of harmonious from my usual spot uh, i had to do it that way instead of watching the whole show i just wanted to catch that finale in my perfect location now it is time to finish up our last resorts starting with beach club let's get out of the crowd thank goodness we're getting towards our third to last stop of the night this one was easy straightforward straight through the door there is the glow made our way inside swan and dolphin where we've got the fancy lobby of the day what i believe to be dolphin fish fountain let's get a little closer because that is our scavenger hint item for the swan and dolphin resort making that long walk down the boardwalk on a normal night i absolutely love it out here on the weekends they have live entertainment jugglers and performers tonight feet are tired but we are so close to finishing this challenge. Let's head upstairs and find the award for the creepiest chair goes to, ultimately that is scavenger hunt stop number 20, finishing end of the night here, 10, 15, every resort. There it is, the final finished version. If you are watching this YouTube and you've made it this far, you're the kind of person that is gonna wanna see this and do this for yourself. So check out tattoodisneydad.com download this file for yourself to use. So that is a wrap on this epic adventure to travel and experience every Walt Disney World resort in one day. We checked into all four parks, hit 20 resorts out of 23. So not a complete success, but definitely not a failure. Uh, funny enough, obviously this video had a beginning, middle and end and a Marvel post credit scene of those last four resorts. If you stuck around to this point, Thank you. Sorry it's not the most exciting finish, but for now, that's a wrap. We'll see you in the next one.